Hello, Randy Rain here. And ever since I found out that there's such thing as apple shrunken heads and that Vincent Price had a kit out that made apple shrunken head sculptures, I knew I had to make some of my own. And I looked some of them up and saw some pictures of other people's and uh, I think I can do better. I have some ideas, so let me give it a shot. So there's lots of resources of these things and they pretty much all say the same thing. Even Martha Stewart has something on these things. And I tell you, Martha Stewart couldn't sculpt her way out of a paper sack. But all of them say you start with apples, of course. You want the biggest apples. Uh, they recommend Granny Smith and at my store, the Granny Smith apples were the biggest apples. I got some, some of them do have bruises, but these are the best ones I could find. And then first you have to peel them. And of course, I don't have an apple peeler. Some say not to take this thing out, but I'm taking it out. Pretty much, ah, uh, that little part broke, and that part broke. Huh. There you go. Just like Andy Griffith. Now you're supposed to soak them in water with salt and lemon juice in there. And different websites say for different reasons. Some say to preserve it. Some say to keep the color consistent. Some say to keep it from turning brown. So I am going to put this one in there like that. Okay, I see why they say invest in an apple peeler if you're going to do a lot of these. This is quite tiring. Okay, there's the basic vase. Now then, on real shrunken heads, the mouth is sewn closed and so is the eyes. So I'm going to try to achieve that. I mean, the lips look funny for now, but I'm trying to think of what they'll look like after it shrinks. Okay, these are my first two. I'm now just going to use some wire. I think I'm just going to 
poke the wire until it comes out, maybe? Coming out there. I'm going to bend it back, do something like that. There. There's one. So here's the best way I've found to make one of these. Is if you look, this part is not in the center. There's going to be one thin side and one thicker side. The thicker side is the side you're going to want to make the face on. So I can see this is the thinnest side. And so that would be the thickest side based down the center. So this is the back of the head. This will be the front of the head. And you can start off just kind of making it a little more symmetrical. Then draw the nose. Just a triangle. Or more like a trapezoid. A little trapezoid here. And dig into it. Then Go in and out, in and out, and then put where the mouth will be. We'll say the mouth will be right there, somewhere right there. So now you can take out a little here, take out a little there. Take out here. And now you can start seeing your face. And you want to leave this fat and fat over here on the sides for the ears. But if you want to at this point, you can kind of block them in. Let me at the top of the brow, at the mouth, and then here. And just go ahead and do this because you want to cut down to here, cut to there, and take all this off the back. The ear is going to be in here somewhere. I'm going to do it for the other side because he looks like he's deformed. Okay, so go about right there. Go about right there. Kind of follow this around. Cut down there. Cut down there. Go a little bit right there. And then go away. There you can really define the mouth where it's going to go. Somewhere right there. But the eyes, you just kind of want to make these little ellipse here around and cut down into it. Doesn't have to be perfect at this point. You're just going to kind of do that because now you're going to take out below it. Yeah. Go ahead and take more of this off. Go here. Because we're going to need a chin. All of this can come off. It really is one of those things you just have to dive into. Let the face come out of it. Don't try to make a certain face. Just start and see what happens. And see where the face goes. What the face turns into. 
because I have no idea what this is going to look like. I'm just going to keep playing with it until it looks like something. But you want to leave these little beady eyes. So, we'll get rid of everything around it. And go ahead and start defining the brows some more. And they're all going to look like cartoon gangsters at first. <laughs> See? You shut up, shutting up. Okay, boss. Okay, you can start working on the ears. Take that off. Take that off. Take that. Something like this. And this going up to it. All this. Let me get, angle it and take all that. And then just dig it out. Now, go ahead and take some of this off the back. <laughs> Flat top here. Okay, this one looks like Bat Boy from the Inquire magazines. Okay, now what you have it to here, the eyes, you just want to take them down to the kind of so that they don't look so bulgy. And make sure they're defined. And then just cut a slit in them. That. <laughs> so that they look like that. Now this one as my dad would say, looks like a 40 model Ford going down the road with both doors open and the hood up. But that's okay. I still like it. Close enough. Just make a little hoop. Make it really thin. Just poke it right in. So far, I'm liking 185 degrees. First time I put it at 200, and that was too much. And 170 just takes too long, so I kind of split the difference. But you can actually open the eyes slots up that you make here. Kind of give it some black down in there. Go here to the ear, and you can kind of mold it a little bit 
and give it a little pinch of here. Yeah. That's a little too much, but that's okay. Then open the mouth. And just sporadically try to get down into any deep crevice. There you go. I like that one. Yeah, some of these are just not possible to sew the eyes. It's a crapshoot. Now for the hair, I've just been taking this crepe hair. Get about that much. Fold it in half. And take some of this thread. Wrap that around. And then tie it. And cut the threads. And then cut here where you folded it at the ends. So you should have two ends and a fold. And the fold you can open out. I've been doubling it up on the thread on this one and just tying the two ends unlike the single thread here. But this is shoe goo. I'm just going to hit it around like this. And then put the ponytail on top. And that goes there. And then you want to go through the ponytail. And then go through some apple. Lock that in place. Go around, go up into the ponytail. Bring it around. Up into the ponytail. Then when you're back around, go ahead and just lock it off. And then you can just pull the hair out how you need it. So that's my take on apple shrunken heads. And from what I've seen online, I think I have the best ones. They kind of remind me of people though. This one and Keith Richards, uh, or maybe Hoggle, or is that its name from the movie Labyrinth? I don't know. There's uh, this guy from Oliver. I think he was also in Tommy's Who. Don't know his name. And, you know, that one's Ross Perot. And of course, you got Walter Matthau. Um, that's Marilyn Manson without the makeup. Don't know some of these. I'm not really sure. That's Boris Karloff, I'm pretty sure.
So yeah, one of these looks like a friend of mine. So I'm going to decline on saying who that one is. But these have got to be some of the best shrunken heads, if not the best. So if you like this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. Of course, if you want to see more stuff, you have to hit that subscribe button. Now I want to thank these people. These are the patrons. These are the people bringing you my Apple shrunken heads. Couldn't do it without them, so I thank them also very much. And the upper tier patrons, well, they're the ones getting these shrunken, shrunken heads here. So if you become upper tier patron, boom, shrunken heads. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you get something out of this and happy Halloween.